All right, it sure does add up. All right, 446 here on your Monday morning, your Valentine's morning. It is cold, a little frosty as you head out the door, so we do have some frost on some wind chills. Got reports of that even in parts of the metro. So you might need a few extra minutes to scrape off that, but other than that, just cold. 28 in Hammond, how about that? Look at Covington, 29. Uh, Slide L's at 30, so really frigid on the north shore. South of the lake, we are uh, in the 30s and 40s in the metro, but you get outside of the metro. Thibodeau, Raceland, 33. Homa, that site usually doesn't report till about 6 or 7. You're also in the 30s and the 30s up along the river. So chilly, chilly start your Valentine's Day. We'll get up into the 60s this afternoon. It's going to be a really beautiful day. We'll have some upper level clouds, so it's not going to be completely blue sky, but overall it will be quiet and the winds will be fairly calm. If you're going out this evening, once we get past sunset, it will be in the 50s, so it'll be a little cool this evening, but overall not bad. All right, look at this warming up. We'll be in the 70s, nearly 70 tomorrow, Wednesday, 74, 77 on Thursday, but you know it was going to come to an end. There's a cold front on Thursday, and yes, once again, it is going to be chilly for Friday parades, Saturday parades, and Sunday parades. Now, as temperatures warm up this time of year, it's ahead of a cold front, and it usually indicates there's going to be some storms somewhere in the deep south, and we do have storms in the forecast. So let's, you, let's walk you through Thursday's forecast here with a chance for maybe a few strong storms. Most of the week is quiet through at least Wednesday. Wednesday, there may be one or two showers. Shouldn't be a big deal. Now, by Thursday morning, here's our developing storm system. Notice perhaps some snow up to our north into Oklahoma and Kansas. That's the low pressure swinging to our north. Now, on the tail of that low will be a cold front. That will swing through our area late Thursday, but before it does, we'll be watching for maybe some storms across the south here uh, in here in the deep south all the way from the coast up to the north into Tennessee could see that threat for severe weather that will be mainly in the afternoon and then by the evening and overnight hours that rain clears out, but clouds do stick around on Friday with cooler air moving back in. So that severe weather threat, I really think it's going to be highest to our north. Really, once you get to Jackson and through Memphis, kind of right in here is where it's likely going to be highest. And the reason for that, there's better ingredients up here. That low pressure is going to be centered to our north. And the close you get to that, it'll just be a little bit more conducive for rotating storms that could produce high winds and also tornadoes. Now we're going to be on the tail end of this, but we'll keep an eye on it. It looks kind of a, like a low wind threat for us, really something we've seen many, many times, but Definitely worth keeping an eye on Thursday afternoon. Really, though, to our north, I think has a better shot of seeing some rough weather on Thursday. Now, all right, if we're getting into the weekend for parades, it does look like it'll be chilly. 50s on Friday, 50s on Saturdays, 50s and 60s on Sunday. We'll still have some clouds around. And for now, I do have a dry Saturday and Sunday, but there is going to be a gulf disturbance. And if it gets a little closer to us, we may have to throw in that chance for some showers for the weekend. But for now, we'll go with dry. I don't see it being at least a washout. That's the way it looks at the moment, at least. But check back in. We got busy weekends ahead of us with parades and lots of parades going on. All right, here's your seven day forecast. Valentine's Day is nice. A little cold tomorrow morning, but notice we're warming up each morning. Now we'll say anytime we start to get warmer this time of year in the 60s and 70s, we start to watch for some fog. So we'll watch for some fog by the middle of the week. There's Thursday. Good chance for showers and storms. Best ingredients for the severe weather is just to our north, but we need to keep an eye on it. And then there we are cooler as we go into the weekend. April. Yeah, thank you very much, Peyton.